Probability. I'm going to talk about something which is slightly counterintuitive when you first encounter it. I'm going to use an example of cancer because this is one that people can identify with. Uh, and this example is supposed to be a little reassuring in its effect. So, age 42, my chance of having cancer is, let's say, 1%. Okay? Now, there's a test, test for cancer, and if I have cancer, have cancer, there is a 90% chance that I will test positive. Okay? If I don't have cancer, there is a 10% chance that I test positive. Okay? You with me so far? My chance of having cancer is 1%. There's a test. If I have cancer, there's a 90% chance I'll test positive. If I don't have cancer, there's a 10% chance that I have positive, that I test positive. If I test positive, what is the chance that I have cancer. Okay? So that's the question. If I have cancer, sorry, if I test positive. Okay. There are two ways I can test positive. One of which is I have cancer and the test has detected that. There's a 90% chance of that. And the other of which is that I don't have cancer, but I still test positive, and there's a 10% chance of that if I don't have cancer. So, let's look at two columns for that data. Okay, the first part to look at is the chances that I have cancer and have tested positive. So the probability that I have cancer is 0 0.01. That's just 1% represented as a decimal. And then the probability that I have cancer and test positive is 0 0.01, that's the possibility that I have cancer, multiplied by 0 0.09. So that's the probability that I have cancer and test positive. We're now going to do the same calculation for the chances that I don't have cancer but still test positive. Okay? And here we have the calculation. The probability that I don't have cancer is 0 0.99. If there's a 1% chance that I have cancer, then there's a 99% chance that I don't have cancer. Then the probability that I don't have cancer but test positive is 0.99. That's the chance that I don't have cancer. Multiplied by 0 0.9, by 0 0.1. That's the number of false positives. So that gives us this number, which is 0 0.099. Now, if I've tested positive, there is a chance that that is because I have cancer, but there is a chance that that is because I was a false positive. To find out what the chance is that I actually have cancer, what I've got to do is take that number and divide it by the chance that I test positive in total. So that calculation is slightly complicated, but here it is just to show you what it looks like equals 0 0.009 divided by 0 0.009. That's the chance that I have cancer 
and test positive plus 0 0.099 which is the chance that I don't get cancer but still test positive. Okay, so the probability that I have cancer given a positive test result is given by 0 0.009 divided by 0 0.09 plus 0 0.99 and the possibility is 0 0.08 that's 8.3% now we said that the test gave a positive result 90% of the time if you had cancer so this seems a little unusual that you get a positive result and you've less than a 10% chance of actually having cancer. What it is, is that the chance of you not having cancer is still so very high at 99% that the false positives dominate the possibility of the result that we see. Okay, we'll go over this a bit more in class, but I think it's one which is worth knowing. Bye.